I'm um, I'm Hugo Swart. I lead our uh, consumer uh, business at Qualcomm. Uh, and one of the segments within the consumer business that we are very motivated, very excited about uh, is virtual and augmented reality. Uh, so on the, on the virtual reality space, uh, we, uh, we're seeing a lot of demand. Uh, we started seeing uh, from Qualcomm a smartphone a virtual reality come uh, with uh, cardboard uh, going to uh, daydream uh, slot in types uh, of device where uh, not only uh, you have uh, a platform, but also minimum specs uh, like Daydream put, like uh, the Samsung uh, with their uh, Gear VR uh, put on, uh, on the market. Uh, what we see next as an evolution for uh, VR types of devices is the standalone or all-in-one uh, products, where you have uh, everything uh, in one custom-built device. You have the processor, uh, you have a battery, display, sensors, cameras, all in, um, um, all in one uh, device. So um, to help uh, uh, OEMs or, or manufacturers come to market quickly, uh, we decided to create a reference design. Uh, we started last year uh, with the, uh, the Snapdragon 820. Uh, at IFA, we announced uh, uh, the Snapdragon 820 reference design, the VR820. Uh, from there, uh, five uh, OEMs already launched uh, with, uh, with a product, mostly in, uh, in China. Um, and now, uh, end of the year, or end of last year, we announced the Snapdragon 835. Uh, with Snapdragon 835, uh, we uh, decided to upgrade our reference design. So this is what I'm showing um, at, uh, at the show uh, this year. Uh, the, the, the form factor uh, is similar to the, the 820 one, but now we included a module for uh, hand tracking with, uh, with Leap Motion. Uh, we continue having uh, additional two front-facing cameras uh, and two inward-facing uh, cameras uh, for, uh, for eye tracking uh, behind the, the lenses. Uh, one of the key features that we see uh, in PC VR uh, is uh, uh, sixed off uh, head tracking or position tracking in, in six degrees of freedom. Uh, and uh, in the PCs, they use accessories like uh, lighthouses and, and others to uh, capture uh, the, the head, head movement uh, from, from users. Uh, in mobile, we cannot count on, um, on accessories. So what we have done is uh, we use a computer vision uh, uh, based uh, algorithm. So that's why you have the front facing uh, camera uh, where uh, through image uh, processing, you can uh, define how is the head moving. If the head is moving front, back, up, down, uh, you can uh, do that by uh, uh, using computer vision algorithms that we run uh, on, the, on the DSP. Um, so uh, Snapdragon 835 uh, is, uh, is an, it provides incremental benefit over Snapdragon 820. So we see about 30% uh, uh, performance improvement and at the same time 25% uh, uh, battery saving. So why is that uh, uh, important? First, I mean VR uh, of course uh, uses uh, our GPU and CPU and DSP to, to its extent, so more uh, is better. So 835 with the 30% the, 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 uh, improvement uh, helps provide uh, a smoother, better uh, user experience. Uh, another big advantage of uh, the A35 is that uh, it's in 10 nanometer. Uh, what does that translate to? Uh, two uh, key benefits. One is a reduced power. So we have, um, as I mentioned, about 25% power reduction. And at the same time, we have a, a smaller footprint. The chip is smaller. And the chip being smaller uh, helps uh, not necessarily on, uh, on VR types of devices, but also enabling small form factor AR uh, type glasses. So uh, ODG uh, announced uh, their AR glass based on Snapdragon 835. Uh, they have a very small footprint for uh, PCB uh, batteries and you have uh, a glass that almost looks like uh, a sunglass. Um, and, and, but of course, uh, it's not a sunglass, it's really a computer uh, almost the size of a, of a sunglass. So you see that it also has a camera for the same uh, sixth off um, uh, tracking, uh, head tracking. 
uh, and, and has uh, displays uh, built in uh, to the device, uh, creating a, a great platform for uh, augmented uh, reality. So in sum, uh, Snapdragon 835 uh, is, uh, uh, is a great platform for mobile VR and AR. And uh, as Qualcomm, uh, we see uh, these as uh, important revolution steps uh, towards uh, mobile compute. Right? We saw mobile compute you know, starting from the big laptops, you know, uh, 15, 20, uh, 30, uh, a little more uh, uh, time ago. Uh, then came uh, smartphones. And we see that the next generation will be something that you wear uh, and you see you know, in front of your eyes. So with uh, Snapdragon 820 was the first step, A35, now we take it to you know, one step up in terms of performance, uh, power, size, um, and, and we'll see you know, over the uh, following years uh, likely an evolution similar to what we saw on, uh, on smartphones. Every year, um, more technology, smaller, uh, higher uh, power uh, efficiency, enabling new devices, new form factors, new uh, uh, better user experiences for VR and AR.